What is up, you guys? I'm Dark Celtic, and this is the spy tutorial episode. We're going to be talking about uh, loadouts and understanding them, how to go about uh, fighting against other players, and those kind of things. Uh, it's a kind of an all-in-one episode, so feel free to watch it all the way or just pick out parts. But first things first, we're going to do is go through a spy loadout. Um, let's go off from de default spy. Now, for most new players, uh, I do not recommend spy um, for most new new players, so that if somebody's skipping episodes and going on just to the spy one, I am doing a tutorial for newer players. But I do not suggest spy to newer players, so I'm going to be explaining spy as if you have the items for him. I'll talk to him in just a minute. I'm trying to do something. Leave me alone, Eric. Okay, first things first, I want to make my, well, I want to make my spy look snazzy. Cool. Well, not with that. I want to make my spy look snazzy so that everybody knows I'm being legit with this. Okay, now a few builds for the spy. Um, my personal favorite build is the normal knife with the uh, dead ringer, like so. Um, it It's just an all-around purpose all-purpose spy uh, loadout. Ambassador, normal knife, dead ringer, sapper. I really like this loadout. It's what I do the most. Um, I also do enforcer, um, kunai, cloak and dagger. Uh, what this allows me to do is hang around the enemy base for a very long time, um, backstab people, and with the health I gain from the kunai, kill them with the enforcer. Um, this is a very effective and aggressive spy, um, and really works well for those that are uh, really good at aim with the Enforcer. Um, the other build that people do is a, um, well, some people do the Dead Ringer with this, and then wear the Fez, but I don't own the Fez anymore because I don't actually like running this anymore. Um, I got bored of it. It's called the Saharian Spy. Um, a lot of people run it because it's a really fun, easy, quick, it's, it's just got one purpose, it's not very complicated to learn type deal. Uh, today we will be going about the normal spy that I just explained with the Dead Ringer. Um, I will be swapping to my Enthusiast timepiece since I am still kind of learning to do the normal watch over uh, the Dead Ringer. Because uh, I look at the Dead Ringer as a bit of a crutch, but it's not that bad. It's a really good item and uh, it does take some thinking in order to you know, go about it. Because no matter what you're doing, you're still spy. Um, some people will say that spy is not hard on all this stuff, but it really comes down to personal opinion. Um, spy for one person is going to be really easy, whereas pyro would be hard for that person. Whereas for me, spy is harder and pyro is easy for me. It's just kind of how things are in Team Fortress 2. Everybody has their favorite, everybody has their weakness, and Spy just happens to be my weakness. Um, even though mine looks amazing. <laughs> so, we're going to be playing against some normal players, so we're going to be talking about normal gameplay and such as that. Uh, if I ever do recordings of TF2, it will always be random servers on random matches with random people. I don't ever have a particular server I go to, and I don't have a particular uh, way of playing, so I'm going to jump cut to the actual gameplay and show you how I play Spy with normal people and talk about gameplay. Alright, here we go. Um, I gotta turn down the volume for my headset. It's a little too loud for me. We're gonna go on the red team, because I like red and gold together. Red team has a lot of spies already, so... We have taken the enemy I can't swap teams now, so it looks like we're gonna have a team full of spies. Sounds good to me. First things first, let's start out by going Pyro. The enemy has taken our intelligence. Jesus, okay. We're a blue the enemy has dropped Pyro. Our Okay, a little bit of an awkward match going on here. Oh, 
crappy nose. Alright. As I said, it's pretty all purpose. Keeps you alive. And also allows you to keep doing what you do. So I can't really explain what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna let you watch me do it, is the idea. So our our uh, scouts are just rampaging. Alert! The enemy has taken our intelligence. The enemy has dropped our intelligence. Okay, so we're not bumping anyone, so I don't have to worry about him. Do, 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 do. We have taken the enemy intelligence. Ah, oh, look, a sniper, not WASD. WASD, buddy. Yes! God, I love the dead man. I need to get, I need to wean myself away from the bow. I use it way too often. I wanted to get used to the, just the normal invisible watch. Thing keeps you alive for way too long if you're good with it. Bad on that, bro. So nasty. Ugh, 247 ping. That much. Ugh. That is a bad internet. Where you going, buddy? <laughs> I don't really see any engineers or anything silly. Oh, I got a crit one. Now I'm a soldier. But this is pretty much what Spy looks like. I don't really know how to explain how to do it. Uh, but ultimately, Spy can't really play objective very good, so he tries to stop other people. So... Always look for the dead ringer. Ah, oh, I didn't have dead ringer for the last second. Oh well. But anyway, that's what spy looks like. Um, the main purpose of playing with other people, other people I find to be a little bit easier than playing against bots. Um, mostly due to the fact that you can actually catch people off guard and they don't actually watch themselves and. They get tricked easy and stuff like that. So spy in like normal pub matches like this really can dominate pretty good. Uh, more than most classes can. And stay alive and just backstab, backstab, backstab. 
Um, and if you get a pretty good rhythm, you can take out an entire team. Let's see, I want to get soldier. I love scouts that think they killed me. Ah, it came up. I thought it was going to go down. Never mind. Alright, so let's show another um, spy loadout real quick. Let's do the um, kunai cloak and dagger one that I like. Here. Ow. It's just a bit harder to do due to the fact that I don't have Dead Ringer. But if I can pull it off, everything goes well very quickly. It's just getting that first back backstab that matters. Come on, Pyro. Stop outrunning me. Slow down just a little. Slow down just a little. Thank you. We have secured the enemy intelligence. Get the Pyro. Swap over to Cloak and Dagger. See what I mean? We have taken the enemy. Oh, I'm dying. Gotta swap back over. Uh, oh well, I got a kill off of him though. But that was the purpose of that one. What you do is you try to find your first backstab. Once you have your first backstab, swap over to your enforcer and just dominate your enemies the best you can. Pyro, pull this up. Come on. Come on now. Ow. And you can still... <laughs> oh well. Swap over. And uh, the cool thing about the uh, watch is the cloak and dagger is that it never runs out if you do things correctly. You just gotta take your time sometimes. And you can wait for people. Ow. You gotta watch out for them huntsmen, they can one shot you. That can be a problem. He's gonna get me, he's gonna get me. He got me. Oh well. They're using a mod that allows people to change their skin over to, uh... Watch it call it the, uh, robots. Things like, um... Robot. Available for premium players. Okay, whatever, they have a premium server. Style thing. I don't really care. Oh, that could have been painful. It almost was. Thank you for your health. You silly little pirate.
I want a strange enforcer whenever they come out. Anyway, that's how it looks for that build. It's a little bit harder to pull off. But personally, here's the Eurothermal reward setup for most people. This is what most people run as a spy. I think it's a little bit silly. But it does work. You're basically dead ringering, dead ringering, dead ringer until you have a Eurothermal reward kill. I just find it to be pretty silly. <laughs> and then this is what your eternal rewards look like. What a silly, silly man. <laughs> That's what you do if you see a uh, Razorback anywhere. Where are you going, Spock? Where are you going? Headshot. Oh well. <laughs> I got a headshot and a backstab in that one. <sighs> but this is what most people use. I personally like the normal knife. And I'm wanting to get good with the Invisiwatch, so... It's kind of the idea. Uh, this watch is the exact same as your default watch, it's just a skin that makes it look snazzy. That you're seeing. Lame. The mini sentry. Hi, mini sentry. <laughs> oh well. I use this as a sniper rifle. I hate water fighting as a spy. Ow. Oh well. Anyway. That would be... That would be spy. So, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And, um, last step. Let's go up top one last time. Crit. <laughs> that was good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. All that good stuff. That would be fun.